Good morning, Life Point. How are you guys doing today? Annie Wilson here to share um, the daily devotional. Um, I'm going to share a couple passages um, today. So I guess I just want to share some things that God has been convicting on my heart and things that I think are really important for us as believers to just um, be aware of. And so today we're going to talk a little bit, a bit about prayer. And so let's start with our first passage. Um, first passage is from 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. Therefore, I ex exhort, first, first of all, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. For kings and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of our um, of God our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. Um, I guess I've been really just praying about this verse lately, this these verses, because I've been convicted of not being able, not praying so much for our government. Like it's very easy, I think, for us to complain and be negative and pray for certain things, but are we praying for our leadership? I would hate to be in any sort of form of government or leadership position right now because you have to make tough decisions and the Bible is asking us to pray for them, to constantly be praying and are we doing that regardless if we believe them or not or agree with them or not, are we still praying for them? And the Bible here, in Timothy, tells us to pray for all men, um, all leaders, Anyone who is in authority, we should be praying for them. And so I've just been really convicted about praying for our, our president, praying for our governors, praying for our mayors, city leaders. There's just so much confusion and things are changing every day. And I need to be more diligent in praying for them. As believers, we need to be praying for them regardless. Um, that God will lead them, that they will make the right decisions for the people as a whole. Um, and so it's just really important. And we're also reading um, with uh, the youth back in Mexico. We've been going through the book of Psalms and Proverbs. And this morning I was reading, um, the reading was for Psalm 60. And so I just want to share a little bit um, from Psalm 60. Um, yeah, let me get there. Psalm 60, um, verses 1 through 4. It's kind of applicable uh, to today. <laughs> Oh God, you have you have cast us off. You have broken us down. You have been displeased. Oh, restore us again. You have made the earth tremble. Yes, it has. You have broken it. Heal its breaches, for it is shaking. You have shown your people hard things. You have made us drink the wine of confusion. You have given a banner to those who fear you, that it may be displayed because of the truth. And then let's jump down to verses 11 and 12. Give us help from trouble, for the help of man is useless. Through God, we will do valiant, valiantly, for it is he who shall tread down our enemies. Um, this jumped out at me today because it's just talking about um, people going through hard things and drinking wine of confusion, but... That God has given us a banner to those who fear him that it may be displayed. And so, um, and then jumping down to verse 11, give us help from trouble for the help of man is useless. I think a lot of times we're just hoping on our own abilities to do things. And right now, a lot of us feel really helpless because we're trapped in our houses. We can't leave. We can't go to work, we can't do our normal routines, but we are not use, useless. We can pray. Pray is the most power, prayer is the most powerful thing that a believer can do. And I want to ask you, have you been diligent in praying? I know I haven't. I'm completely guilty of it. But God has just really been convicting me during this time in this last week, just with different readings that I've been doing, a prayer time with my teammates back in Mexico, just about praying and laying all my requests before the Lord and praying for other people, praying for other countries, um, instead of complaining and just absorbing all the things the news says, am I absorbing God's word? Am I laying it before him? Am I praying? Um, the Bible tells us to be anxious for nothing, 
but in everything by prayer and supplication. Make your request known to God. It tells us that. Continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant um, in it with thanksgiving. Pray without ceasing. The cool thing about prayer is we don't have to be necessarily um, alone in our in a in a, a room by ourselves, quiet. You can pray without ceasing. You can pray throughout the day. You can pray while you're driving. You can pray while you're communicating with other people. The Bible tells us to always be praying, and I have not been doing a very good job of that. I think um, maybe I've just been feeling sorry for myself that I'm stuck here, that I can't be in Mexico doing actually the same thing I'm doing here. But am I praying for our leadership? Am I being diligent and praying for my friends in other countries who are facing a lot uh, different circumstances with the coronavirus than I am here? Am I praying for them? And so my challenge today for all of us is maybe instead of listening to the news or um, admitting <laughs> negative thoughts, that we pray instead. So that just wants to be my challenge and our focus that we can be a people of prayer and we can be held accountable to one another and praying for each other and truly lifting people up regardless if we agree with them or not that we're praying and we're trusting um, God's hand upon the situation and his um, ability to answer our prayers. God will answer our prayers. We just have to lay them before him. So um, yeah, that is my challenge for today. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your word. I thank you that we can communicate with you at all times and any hours and any place, Lord, that um, prayer is very simple and it's just communicating with you, Lord. So I just pray that you make us a people of prayer, that um, instead of turning to other thoughts in our head, Lord, that we turn our thoughts to you and that we're able to just pray, to pray through all things, Lord. And we just thank you. For your Holy Spirit and the work that you're doing in our lives. I just ask for continued protection and health and just guidance, Lord. I lift up our government right now and the president um, and all our city leaders, Lord. Just that you grant them wisdom and discernment um, how to move forward. And you pay, I pray for their protection, Lord, and um, as well. And so, yeah, we just thank you for your word and we thank you for all you do. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Life Point, have an awesome day, and I will see you guys. You'll see me <laughs> later. All right, God bless.